ਸੁਰ ਬਾਇਆ ਸੁਰ ਦਾ ਸੁਰ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਲਾਸਟੇ ਮੈਂ ਸੈਟਿੰਗ ਤੋਂ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਕਰਕੇ ਦੂਜਾ ਪੁੱਛ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਸਮਝ ਗਿਆ ਬਾਈ ਕਿ ਕੈਨ ਸਪੂਨ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਪੋਕ ਇਨ ਬਿਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਸਰ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਨੋ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਬਿਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਸਰ
Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya My respectful pranams to all the senior swamis, sannyasins present here or online, and my respectful namaskars to all the others, either participating here physically or online. We are just about to commence proceedings in this 17th annual convocation of the Belurmat campus of the Vivekananda deemed university. We shall begin the proceedings. Before we begin, just one line introduction about the people seated on the stage here. The chancellor of this meeting of the university's convocation convention, Swami Subhidananda Ji Maharaj, general secretary of the Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission, will be coming in a little while. The others are all known to you. The only person sitting in my dress on the stage is today's chief guest, Dr. Sudarshan. We'll begin today's proceedings with invocation, recitation of Vedic mantras to be led by Swami Shiva Purnananda Ji.
ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಭದ್ರಂಕರ್ಣೆ ಶ್ರೃಣುಯಾಮ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯಕ್ಷಭಿರ್ಯಚತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈಸ್ತುಷ್ಟು ವಾಗುಂಸ್ತನೋಭಿ ವ್ಯಶೇಮ ದೇವಹಿತೈಯದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಸ್ತಾಕ್ಷೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದೂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂದಸ ಮೃಷಭೋ ವಿಶ್ವ ಛಂದೋಭ್ಯೋದ್ಧಮೃತ ಸಂಭೂವ ಸೇಂದ್ರೋ ಮೇಧಯ ಸ್ಪೃಣೋತು ಅಮೃತ ದೇವಧಾರಣೋ ಭೂಯಾಸ ಶರೀರಂ ಮೇ ವಿಚರ್ಷಣ ಜಿಹ್ವಾ ಮೇ ಮಧುಮತ್ತಮ ಕರ್ಣಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಭೂರಿ ವಿಶ್ರುವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಕೋಶೋಸಿ ಮೇಧಯ ಪಿಹಿತ ಶ್ರುತ ಮೇ ಗೋಪಾಯ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿಷ್ಟಾನುದಮಾನುರುಕ್ತ ಬೃಹದ್ವೇಮ ವಿದಥೆ ಸುವೀರಾಷ್ಟಿರ್ಭವತಿ ದೇವಿ ತ್ರೀಋತ್ವಯಾಜುಷ್ಟಿತ್ರಿಂದತೆ ವಸುಸಾನೋ ಜುಷಸ್ವದ್ರವಿಣೋ ನ ಮೇಧೆ ಮೇಧಾಮ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ದಾತು ಮೇಧಾಂ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಮೇಧಾಂ ಮೇ ಅಶ್ವಿನಾವುಭಾವಾಧತ್ತಾಂ ಪುಷ್ಕರಸ್ರಜ ಅಪ್ಸರಾಶು ಚಯಾ ಮೇಧಾ ಗಂಧರ್ವೇಶು ಚಯನ್ ಮನ ದೈವೀ ಮೇಧಾ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಸೇಧಾ ಸುರಭಿರ್ಜುಷತಾಗಸ್ವಾಹ ಮೇಧಾ ಸುರಭಿರ್ವಿಶ್ವ ಹಿರಣ್ಯವರ್ಣ ಜಗತಿ ಜಗಮ್ಯ ಊರ್ಜಸ್ವತಿ ಪಯಸಾ ಪಿನ್ವಮಾನ ಸೇಧಾ ಸುಪ್ರತೀಕಾಜುಷಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓನ್ನೋ ಮಿತ್ರ ಶಂವರುಣ ಶನ್ನೋ ಭವತ್ವರ್ಯಮಾ 
शो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो वायोव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी वामेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्या ऋत वदिष्या सत्य वदिष्या तन्मावत तत्वत्तावत अवतु मां अवतु वक्ता ओ शा 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 ओ वेदमनोचाचार्योवासी नमनुषास्ते सत्य वद धर्म चर स्वाध्यामद आचार्याय प्रियंधन मृत्य प्रजात मवच्छेत्सी सत्यान्न प्रमदित धर्मान्न प्रमदित कुशलान्न प्रमदित भूत प्रमदित स्वाध्याय प्रवचनाभ्यान्न प्रमदित देवितृकार्याभ्यान्न प्रमदित मातृदेव भव पितृदेव भव आचार्यदेव भव अतिथिदेव भव कर्मा नो इतरास्मत्श्रेयागुंसो ब्राह्मण सने न प्रश्वसित श्रद्धया देय अश्रद्धया देय श्रिया देय क्रिया देय धिया देय संवेदा देय अथ यदि ते कर्म विचिकित्सा वृत्त विचिकित्सा ये तत्र ब्राह्मण आसमर्षिण युक्ता आयुक्ता अलोक्षा धर्म काम स्यु यथा ते तत्र वर्तेर तथा त्र वर्ते अथाभ्याख्याु ये त्र ब्राह्मण आसमर्षिण युक्ता आयुक्ता अलोक्षा धर्म काम स्यु यथा ते तेषु वर्तेर तथा तेषु वर्ते आदेश उपदेश वेदोपनिषत एतदनुशासनमुपाव्यमुचतुपास्यम शो मित्र संवरुण शो भवत्म शो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो वायोव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी वामेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मादिश ऋतमवादिश सत्यमदिश तन्मा 
तत्वत्तारमावेत आवेन्माम आवेद्वत्तारम ओम शांते 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 हे हरे हे ओम तत्सत श्री राम कृष्णार्पणमस्तु So thank you, brothers, for the wonderful, melodious Vedic chanting. In the Upanishads, it is said, Na alpe sukham asti. If something is done in a short manner, it doesn't give you peace and joy. That is why I think these brahmacharins and the led by their leader, Shwapurna Nandaji, decided to take more than double the time given to them. Anyway, thank you, brothers. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. To compensate for the late arrival of our chancellor, that is okay. Na alpe sukhamasti. So we will now have the address of welcome to be given by Swami Sarvatthamanandaji, Vice Chancellor of the Vivekananda Deemed University. नमश्री यतिराजाय विवेकानंद सूरये सचित सुखत स्वरूपाय स्वामी नेताप हारिने रिस्पेक्टेड स्वामी आत्मप्रियानंद जी महाराज रिस्पेक्टेड एच सुदर डॉक्टर एच सुदर्शन रिस्पेक्टेड माय सीनियर सन्यासीन्स माय ब्रदर सन्यासीन्स dear brahmacharis dear teachers and staff and very dear students i heartily wel uh, and uh, i also welcome the uh, parents also i dear parents and guardians of the students too i heartily welcome all of you to this auspicious occasion of the convocation of uh, R. K. M. Berry. Uh, today is the occasion when a batch of students passes out. So this is the occasion that we try to give them some life lessons. So I will mainly address the students only because many of the teachers and brahmacharis also they are uh, listening to these kind of addresses year after year and they have heard it before but uh, for the students I would specially take my time to address them. I will not take uh, much time because before me the chanting has taken a lot of uh, more time than what was allotted to them and I will be as brief as possible. And before that also you can speak also then because uh, I think there is some problem with the mic. Okay, one minute. So, I will only speak a uh, few words, though they have told me to speak more. Um, first of all, uh, I would like to point out the beliefs and what we consider the, uh, the purpose of education. As you know, uh, being a religious organization as well as uh, non-profit organization. We have higher goals. 
So we consider that the goal of education is, in the words of Swamiji, it is man-making, character-making, man-making, character-building. Uh, the goal of education may be uh, for different people, it may be different, for, uh, uh, but for we, we think that it, is, uh, it has the purpose to uh, finally, uh, to reach the final goal of the uh, human life, of the society, which is spirituality. Uh, being, you can understand it because uh, being a monk, uh, that is, uh, uh, and uh, that is common to us that we will have that goal, but really we consider it uh, uh, seriously, this goal, we take it seriously. So, uh, though we don't uh, want to, want you to uh, take this goal uh, as a, without understanding, but we think that this is a final goal. So even if you have got some other goal for education, some other goal for your life, that is fine, because finally the goal is, goals of the life are kind of shifting goals, because you reach a goal and then you will find that what you wanted is not there and you work for some other goal. So for this character building and man making education, we want that our students should, should work for their character, should put effort to build their character even after passing out. To that end, I think, as Swamiji said, we should uh, think about three things. One is, think about your head, and second is heart, and hands. So what we consider character development is harmonious development of these three. So I'm uh, putting this in, in summary, in brief. He, because if you say that it is character and character development, uh, man making, character making, so it may include a lot of things. But to summarize, I think, this is my opinion again, that it should contain, it should, you should only consider these three things. If these three aspects are looked after perfectly, then it is enough. One is, you have to develop your head. Next is you, are develop, you have to develop your heart and hands. The order is not actually this. The order is actually you have to put more importance to your heart and then hand and then head, actually. It is a reverse. Why? Because, see, if you have got empathy, you will, in the words of Swamiji, you will make fewer mistakes. And uh, what about hands? So because a karma yogi, he has achieved everything by his effort. If he makes some mistakes, then he can correct, his, correct it also uh, with the help of his karma. And last is buddhi. So first you have to have heart, even if you don't have other two things, it can uh, substitute for the lack of others. And actually what I feel is uh, today it is much lacking. This uh, part that empathy in Indians is much lacking. I don't worry about intellect. I don't worry about intelligence. I even don't worry too much about laziness. But what I'm worried about the present day society is they lack empathy. So for students, I think that they should especially look into this, they should especially take care of this. See what happens is someone has accident in the, uh, when you go to, go, you are going, you are traveling somewhere, you see that some people has accident, no one is looking after it. What does this show? This show that there is a, a, lack, a, a lack of empathy in us. And I find that in Indians, it is uh, becoming more and more pronounced, more and more prominent. So I think that if you talk about uh, intelligence, if you talk about other things, but you don't have empathy, it is not good at all. So this character building should start from empathy. And this is very important. 
Next is Karma Yoga. Again, as Indians, we are not, we don't understand dignity of labor. We don't respect labor. We have respect for intelligence, we have respect for buddhi, but we don't have respect for dignity, for dignity for labor. So this is the second aspect that we should especially uh, uh, care for. Then third is intelligence, I, I, again the learning, the buddhi part. Why I am saying these three things are important? Because you see, what our students do is when they pass out, actually their retirement life starts right after that. They don't get retired after 60 years. See, immediately after they leave schools, schools, colleges, they stop learning. They stop put, uh, putting effort in their daily life. And uh, uh, as you, the um, result you very well know that they become tamasic, actually. So this is tamasic, tamas is the curse, is the curse in Indian society, curse of Indian society. So for our students, I think, that uh, uh, for them, my message is, when they leave this place, lifelong learning, lifelong putting effort, and empathy. These three things are very much important uh, to, for the students to, they have to take care, they should make their mission of their life. And uh, uh, I hope that as a students of uh, RKM Very, uh, this is my earnest, uh, uh, I wish, uh, this is my earnest wish to them also that uh, they will uh, make the name of RKM very well known to everyone and uh, they, they will make us proud that they are the students of RKM very. So this is my earnest wish. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you very much, Swami Sarvottamanandaji Maharaj, for your brief but very powerful message given to the students who are going out today. And I'm sure they will take your words of wisdom seriously. He talked about combination of head and heart and hands as given by Swami, declared by, as, uh, as somebody wanted us to do. Dignity of labor, empathy in today's world, and then learning. We now come to the next item of today's proceedings, which will be the administration of oath to the students in Sanskrit by Swami Atma Priyanandaji, the Pro Vice Chancellor of our university. I am particularly addressing the students. <clears throat> All of you may remember the day when you took oaths called Vidyarthi Vrata, offering Vilva leaves and declaring that you will observe certain norms based upon our old scriptures, as well as revived by Swami Vivekananda, particularly to be an ideal student or to approximate to be an ideal student. So those vratas are again being repeated in a slightly modified form now, following the Indian tradition the Mimamsaka and the Vedanta tradition called Upakrama and Upasamhara. In Upakrama, you set forth the beginning and set certain goals. In Upasamhara, in the conclusion, again you reiterate and repeat them to confirm that when 
you conclude you are adhering to the same kind of goals. So you began your student's career with these goals, and now you are concluding your studentship. Not concluding learning, as Varvathman just said, concluding your formal studentship here in this university after getting a degree. Swami Ranganathanandaji, of revered memory, who was our illustrious president of the order, very funnily used to tell the brahmacharians going out to the training center after their education for two years training, now you have got the ECPS degree. So what is ECPS? Education closed, progress stopped. Once you get a degree, as Svarvatamanji beautifully said, you think you have learned because you have a certificate, which actually means nothing. Your life, it shows that you are, as a student's life has begun. So this idea that is a lifelong education has to go into our understanding, into our mind, and Revere Swami Suvirananda Ji, our Chancellor, has now come. I am reading out these mantras, I don't expect you to repeat. For one, we have not practiced this repetition. For another, Sanskrit is not a very easy language for most of you who are not trained in Sanskrit to be able to repeat it. So you listen carefully, please stand up in your seats, the graduates, those who are going to receive the degrees today, and keep the feet which you have in, your, in front and I will read out one by one. There are five mantras here. And I will briefly give you the meaning also in English, which is there in the back. You can take these papers home and read them as often as possible. The first mantra, you remember what you, when you began, as a student here, you had these mantras again also, refers to maintaining your health, taking care of your body. Second refers to swadhyaya, self-study. In the university or a college or a school, you do paradhyaya. Somebody teaches you, you're under a teacher, under a tutor, and you learn from a teacher. This swadhyaya is swadhyaya. You study on your own. You are your own teacher. So continue this swadhyaya throughout your life. The third is about truthfulness. Sri Ramakrishna said, Shattahoche Kalir Tapasya. So truthfulness in speech, in body and mind has to be practiced. This is the Wow, which you took when you came, you're repeating it again. The fourth is unselfishness. Swami Vivekananda made a very bold statement to say, unselfishness is God. They alone live who live for others, and the rest are more dead than alive. We have put it here. And the last one is harmoniously working with all in the institution. 
you may be an individual genius you may be an extraordinary giant in your own field but if you cannot work with others the other members of the family which is the institution which you belong to later on your state your nation in the world at large then you will be absolutely useless remember harmoniously working with everybody is a very very important vow which is the last one so i repeat one by one since you are not uh, repeating at the end of it as anumodana as the brahmaranya upanishad you simply say om which means you have accepted this vow and you will strive to follow this sharira madhyam khalu dharma sadhanam iti niti vakyam avadharya shramakshama seva samartha nirog shariraya swasthya palana paro bhavitamoham yatha sadhyam yatishye tejosi tejo mayi dehi viryamasi viryam mayi dehi balamasi balam mayi dehi ojosi ojo mayi dehi manyurasi manyum mayi dehi sohosi saho mayi dehi peshayo me loha samabhavantu स्नायवो मे अयाम सीव भवन्तु हृदयम मे वज्रसारम भवतु द मीनिंग इज गिवन एट द बैक वेरी ब्रीफली बॉडी इज द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ धर्म रिमेंबरिंग दिस आई विल स्ट्राइव माय बेस्ट टू फॉलो ऑल द रूल्स मेंटेनिंग रिलेटिंग टू द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ गुड हेल्थ टू डेवलप अ हेल्दी एंड स्ट्रांग फिजिक दैट इज कैपेबल ऑफ हार्ड वर्क and service for me you pray to the lord and you remember swami vivekananda's prayer may i be endowed with muscles of iron and nerves of steel inside which dwells a mind which is like the thunderbolt you can say om loudly om that means you agree and you should follow second mantra स्वाध्याय प्रवचनाभ्या न प्रमदितुतिवचनमवधार्य स्वाध्याय पारायण ज्ञान यज्ञनिष्ठ सर्वदा भविमहम यहाँ यथे मेधा देवी जुषमाण आगा विश्वाची भद्रा सुमन से मना तया जुष्टा नुदमाना दुरुक्ता बृहद्वदेम विदथे सुवीरा contemplating the upanishadic dictum namely do not neglect study and teaching i will always strive my best to be devoted to study cult- cultivation and sharing of my knowledge with others swadhyaya and pravachana not only do you learn but you share that knowledge with others through teaching and you pray the goddess of medha medha is a very important concept in the vedic lore Medha is a goddess of intelligence that subtle intelligence which is capable of delving into deep spiritual truths and the third mantra say an om third mantra satyame vajayate nanritam satyena pantha vitato deva yanah यदि श्रुतिवाक्यमवधार्य काये न मनसा वाचा सत्यपरायण भवितुमहम यथा साध्यम यतिष्ये असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर मा अमृतम गमय ऑल ऑफ यू नो दिस इज द नेशनल मोटो सत्यमेव जयते सुंदर मुंडक उपनिषद कॉन्टेम्प्लेटिंग द उपनिषद दिग्गम नेमली ट्रूथ अलोन ट्रायम्फ्स नॉट एन ट्रूथ the divine path extends to truth the beginning is truth the middle is truth the end is truth as swami vivekananda said man does not travel from error to truth but from truth to truth from a lower truth to the higher truth the whole path satyena pantha vitato devayanah 
I will always strive to be devoted to truth in all possible ways, in body, speech and mind, prayer, from untruth lead me to truth, from darkness to lead me to light, from death lead me to immortality. Loudly. Parahitaya parartaya eo jivati sayeva jivati anyetu jivan mrtaha iti srimad vivekananda swaminam sumahat bhajanam samsmritya nichata krurata dambhika tadi marina swartha santatir vidaya udara cheta vinayi shraddhavan nara nara yana seva nishto bhavitumaham yatha sadhyam yatishye Yan Yanavad Jani Karamani Tenis Tani Se Vitabyani No Itarani At Mopamyena Sarvatra Samam Pashati Yorjuna Sukham Vayadiva Dukham Sayogi Paramo Mataha It is Shruti Smritya Adesha Vachanajatam Tatha At Mavat Sarvahute Shusam Pashet It is Isha Krishna Vakyancha Anushthana Parayanena Maya Sadaiva Bhavyam Remembering the wonderful great seeing of Swami Vivekananda, namely, they alone live who live for others, the rest are more dead than alive. I will strive my utmost to renounce all debasing selfish emotions like pettiness, cruelty, conceit, etc. and become large-hearted, humble, endowed with shraddha, Devoted to the service of all beings and the embodiments of the divine. May I devotedly follow the sayings from the Vedas and the Gita as well as Jesus Christ. Namely, only those words that are blemishless should be performed, not any other, Taittiriya Upanishad. O Arjuna, one who has the sameness of vision everywhere, looking upon everything, be it pleasurable or painful, as the image of his own self, is the supreme yogi, Gita. Do unto others as you would, they would do unto you the Holy Bible. That means you are accepting. Suparichalita sammati shakti reva samaja kalyana nidanam ataha aikya pratishthamu lakan sammati shakti jagaranat makan sangat shadvam samvadadvam samvo manam sijanatam sahaviryam karava vahe mavid visha vahe Ityadi Shrutyadi Shanavadharya Sudupaya Para Sannaham Samaja Bhuktai Sarvai Aikya Baddo Bhavitam Bahujana Hitaya Bahujana Sukhaya Yatha Sadhyam Yatishye The welfare of society depends upon well-managed organizational power. Swami Vivekananda also said what we lack in India is the power of organization. Therefore, Contemplating the Vedic dicta that seeks to establish unity of purpose and arouse the power of unified thought and action, namely, may you all march forward together, may all your speech be in focus, may all your minds and thoughts vibrate in unison, may we strive together in a common endeavor, may there be no disharmony between us. I will always, in all circumstances, strive my utmost to function harmoniously, perfect understanding, and unison with all my colleagues, co-workers, fellow travelers in life for the welfare of the many, for the happiness of the many. And the last is prayer that all of you may be able to follow these teachings in letter and spirit. Sankalpe shu paramat mame sahayo bhavatu eshame bhavatu shubhaya bhavatu shivaya Bhavadukshemaya Tasmai Paramatmane Namaha Om Mishwani Deva Savitara Duritani Parasuva Yadabhadram Tanama Asuva May the Supreme Being always help me to be faithful to these vows which I have now taken. May He be compassionate, auspicious to me in my endeavor to keep these vows. O effulgent being, remove all my blemishes and grant unto me all that is auspicious and good. Om Shanti 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 Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu Om Peace, Peace.
peace, peace. May this whole exercise be an offering unto Sri Ramakrishna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Swami Atma Priyananda Ji Maharaj. I am sure the students will feel energized after repeating these Vedic mantras and resolve to live up to them as much is in their capacity in life. Uh, we now have the present task of giving flower bouquets to senior guests. I would request Swami Sarvottamananda Ji Maharaj, our Vice Chancellor of the University, to give the flower bouquet to a revered Subhidamana Ji Maharaj, Chancellor of the University and General Secretary of the Ramakrishna Mission. I would then request from Atma Priyananji Maharaj to give a flower bouquet to our chief guest of the evening, Dr. S. Sudarshan. So we have welcomed our Chancellor and the Chief Guest of the Evening with flower bouquets. We now proceed with our program. We come to the wonderful task of this evening. That is the award of the DSC Honoris Causa to Dr. H. Sudarshan, our Chief Guest in this function. Before Swami Kirti Pradhananda, our Registrar of the University, reads out a detailed description of Dr. Sudarshan's qualifications, achievements, his present pursuits and the like. I, on my part, would like to say just a word, of, a word or two about him. His full name is Dr. Hanumappa Sudarshan. I would rather call him Dr. Humble Sudarshan. Despite his medical degree and the enviable track record that he boasts of, Dr. Sudarshan is basically a very soft-spoken and silent worker, but nonetheless an efficient and effective worker. We all know how much Swami Vivekananda felt for the downtrodden masses of our country. He has exhorted us, he has exhorted us, the poor, the downtrodden, the ignorant, let these be your gods. He, he would say, the Upanishad teaches, as the Prince just repeated just now, in the Vedic chanting, Matri, Matri Devo Bhava, Pitri Devo Bhava, Achara Devo Bhava. To this, Swamiji adds, Murka Devo Bhava, Daridra Devo Bhava. And it is among these neglected masses in our society that Dr. Sudarshan chose to work all his life. And the results are there for all to see. I hope that his noble life and extraordinary achievements will especially inspire the young students getting their degrees today to follow in his footsteps and lend a helping hand in whatever manner possible to the numberless people in the, marginalized, in the marginalized sections of our society. I have now requested Amikita Pradhanandaji to read out the citation. I now read out the citation for the award of DSC Honoris Causa to Dr. H. Sudarshan, Founder and Secretary, Vivekananda Girijana Kalyana Kendra and Karuna Trust, Bengaluru, in 
recognition of his selfless service to humanity in the fields of education and health. Dr. Hanumappa Sudarshan is a well-known medical doctor turned philanthropist who dedicated his life, even as a teenager, for the service of God in man, as taught by Sri Ramakrishna and his illustrious disciple, Swami Vivekananda. For more than four decades of his life of self-sacrifice, Dr. Sudarshan has focused especially on enhancing the quality of life of the marginalized and underprivileged sections of the society. His integrated tribal development project, to which he is passionately and selflessly committed, mainly among the Soligas in the Chamarajnagar district of Karnataka, has won him national and international recognition. Some of the awards bestowed upon Dr. H. Sudarshan for his selfless service and achievements are the following. Ashoka Fellow in 1982, Rajotsava State Award for Social Work by the Government of Karnataka in 1984, Right Livelihood Award in 1994 for showing how tribal culture can contribute to a process that secures the basic rights and fundamental needs of indigenous people and conserves their environment. The Right Livelihood Award is an international award to honor and support those offering practical and exemplary answers to the most urgent challenges facing us today. Next is the Padma Shri Award in the year 2000 by the Government of India. And the next is Mother Teresa Award in 2014 for social justice. Dr. Sudarshan's main source of inspiration is Swami Vivekananda's life and teachings like, this life is short, the vanities of the world are transient, but they alone live who live for others, the rest are more dead than alive. In 1980, Dr. Sudarshan started the Vivekananda Girijana Kalyana Kendra, VGKK, as an integrated tribal development project and as a sequel to it, founded Karuna Trust in 1986 for reaching the health care to the unreached. Karuna Trust provides primary health care through public-private partnership to 1.5 million people in seven states of India in very remote, hilly, tribal areas. The states are Karnataka, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Assam, Orissa, and Rajasthan. Karuna Trust has made several process and technological innovations for providing cost-effective healthcare services. Dr. Hanumappa Sudarshan started his clinic in a small hut and initially it was difficult for his team to bring the tribal people to his clinic as they were afraid of the modern medical techniques. Dr. Sudarshan persisted and relentlessly persuaded the tribals to come to his clinic. He began to treat various cases of snake bite, pneumonia, tuberculosis, and respiratory infections. The ma main disease spreading amongst the Soliga tribe was sickle cell anemia. Dr. Sudarshan created a low-cost electrophoresis machine for the treatment in the primary health care center. He also developed dental health care and cancer control in the primary health care center. He not only diagnosed patients, but also trained the tribal girls as nurses and posted them at the tribal sub-centers. Dr. Sudarshan provided quality health care to all tribal people living below poverty line. Slowly, the medical facilities and their success rate became well known and highly acceptable. Thus, starting from health to education, empowerment and livelihood support, Vivekananda Girijana Kalyana Kendra, thus, became a comprehensive, integrated tribal development program. Nothing gave Dr. Sudarshan more joy than reviving patients from heart and lung failure and successfully treating patients with cataract and seeing them leave the hospital with full vision. He has spent a major part of his life, more than four decades, 
in clinical and laboratory diagnosis along with supervising, monitoring, teaching and doing research with his team members, thus turning out to be a true revolutionist for integrated tribal development. Dr. H. Sudarshan is now closely associated with the tribal and rural development programs of the Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Deemed University, Belur Mutt, having found a newer avenue of service through the university that is a humble attempt at actualizing Swami Vivekananda's educational vision. His present focus in the university's program of service in the medical sector is on One Health, an integrated approach to soil, plant, animal, human health, SPAH, SPA, an integrated approach to holistic health of all the components of the earth, realizing that each of the components is interdependent upon and interconnected with each other. This vision of interconnectedness and interdependency rooted in the Upanishadic wisdom of the Vedanta teaching of Ekatva Vijnana, realization of oneness of existence or solidarity of the universe can be actualized in practice through a unified theory of one existence consciousness bliss, Sat Chit Ananda, the great spiritual legacy bequeathed to us by the Upanishadic Krishis, revivified and rejuvenated, practically formulated clearly through the lives and teachings of Ramakrishna Vivekananda in the modern age. Dr. H. Sudarshan, through his selfless work spanning more than four decades, has been able to prove and demonstrate that Swami Vivekananda's ideas are indeed a unique blend of immense practicality with immense idealism. This university, bearing Swami Vivekananda's hallowed name, is glad and feels privileged to confer the degree of DSC honoris causa to Dr. H. Sudarshan for his contribution to nation building through his monumental, integral rural and tribal development project with singular devotion over the past four decades through experiments, innovations and interventions based on Swami Vivekananda's life-giving ideas in catalyzing individual and collective transformation. Thank you. Thank you, Kitty Padanandaji. I would now request our uh, Chancellor of the University, Reverend Subhidan Ji Maharaj, to present the award to Dr. Sudarshan. Please give him a big hand. Thank you, David Maharaj, for presenting the award to Dr. Sudarshan. And thanks to you also, Dr. Sudarshan, for accepting it. I would now request Dr. Sudarshan to give the, to give the acceptance speech and the convocation address. Most revered Swami Suviranji Maharaj, the Chancellor of the University, revered Swami Atme Priyanji Maharaj, the Pro-Chancellor, revered Swami Sarvottamanji, Vice-Chancellor, the uh, revered registrar and revered controller of examination, all the senior monks of the Ramakrishna Mission and the University, the Brahmacharins, and my dear graduates, and the parents who have come for this program. 
It's indeed a great honor, a great day for me. Um, I have been uh, thinking about this university. I, I was a brahmachari in PPTC for some time, and uh, um, so, um, our uh, Atmapriyanji Maharaj, and we used to discuss about this concept of the dream of this university. And I'm thrilled, really feel uh, thrilled to walk into this university. And I had a desire. I wanted to be a student and also graduate from this university. Then I was thinking maybe in this life it is not possible, I have to be reborn again. But by getting this degree, the <laughs> doctorate, so my, I don't have to be reborn again. I already, without passing the examination, the degree has been given to me. So <laughs> Maharaj has saved me one more birth to uh, fulfill my desire of being part of this university. It's a dream university for me. It's a wonderful, great idea of Swamiji. And my, my concept of understanding, of course, Atma Pranji has given his life for this university and developed it, and uh, the entire team, uh, they have all done it, and the present uh, GS Maharaj is also supporting it in a very big way. Uh, Ramakrishna Mission produces the sannyasins, the monks, but I would suggest that this university will produce rishis. Uh, I, I think all of you are, I, I want to graduate you as rishis. I will tell my concept of rishis and uh, do it. So I, I gladly accept this uh, great honor uh, given to me. It, it's to my, I, I, I have been part of many of the medical convocations, uh, including one uh, with uh, pro, uh, the, our beloved uh, Abdul Kalam. He invited me for one of the medical convocations in Pondicherry and I was with him. My first time I addressing a convocation of the other than medical students, um, but I am very, very privileged to be a part of this program today. Just I want to share a few things with you. And I, I was also very delighted to see how carefully the whole, the woes which uh, revered Atma Priyanji Maharaj re read out, so well planned, and all that ideas which I had put are already there in that wow, uh, woes which he has uh, given. My life and my work are not different. Of course, many things have been read out. I will not bore you with more details of that. Only thing is I have to say that to get this doctorate in uh, science, I've also done a lot of innovations, uh, medical and uh, information technology, ICT innovations in the primary healthcare, and maybe that should qualify me for the doctorate of science rather than the service alone. Um, so the, apart from that, I just want to summarize my work. I was born in a cow shed. My mother had a choice to go to a hospital and deliver. My sister, she went, but uh, she was too tired to go to the hospital. So the, the taboo in the villages, though we are a mid, uh, not a very poor family, they won't deliver inside. They will always deliver outside the, uh, the house. So it is in a cow shed. And it cow shed has very good advantage. They put the hay and all the blood stains easy to th throw, dispose it, uh, burning it. Uh, but why I'm saying that is, Today, I am instrumental. Mother, Divine Mother has made me an instrument. We provide uh, safe deliveries, institutional deliveries for 10,000 mothers every year. That's the, my own life. And that happened because, the miracle happened because of Swamiji. I will explain to you how it happened. And later, I, at the age of 12, I went to, with my father to a village and he literally died on my lap without medical aid. That day I decided to become a doctor. And the rest of my life I didn't want to see uh, somebody uh, you, you, whom you cannot help and helplessly the other person is dying. So I decided to become a doctor. But I had fairly good marks um, uh, in the pre-university. I studied with uh, great uh, passion to become a doctor. I uh, was in the top 30 for the entire state, but I was underage. In my school, uh, village school, they gave me a, what's called a double promotion. I didn't study third standard. From second to fourth, I jumped. So, but they caught me in the medical college. I had to complete 16 years by October 30th. I was completing on December 30th. 
said you come next year, though you have good marks, you cannot join, you have to come next year. So I also had problems with the family, um, so I joined a floor mill. I used to work as a uh, worker there, cycle 15 kilometers, and I used to get 110 rupees salary. And three months salary was my entrance fees to Bangalore Medical College. I joined with my own earned money and joined there. That was a time, turning point in my life. One of my friends took me to Ramakrishna Ashrama, Bangalore Ashrama, and that, that I wanted to become a doctor, but what type of doctor? That's, that's where the mantra, which is also my favorite mantra, they alone live who live for others, rest are more dead than alive, was the first thing which struck me when I entered Ramakrishna Ashrama. And that transformed the love uh, which I received from the monks of the Ramakrishna mission, especially Bangalore Ashrama, the senior monks, and the, the character which was molded by, by being part of that, the lessons I learned is something very, very invaluable. So I joined medical college, completed it, I wanted to work. After, immediately after my internship, I went to Mayavati, I worked in, in the Himalayas uh, with the Ramakrishna mission, then I was in Belurmat as, uh, as a brahmachari. And I had the unique opportunity at the then General Secretary Swami Gambiranji Maharaj called me and said, you get trained in laboratory and x-ray and start it here in Belurmat. And I was instrumental in starting the radiology and the laboratory in the Belurmat. Then I had to leave the, uh, the great uh, order for various reasons and I went to BR Hills and started the, uh, uh, the tribal development work. Rest of it you know. So today, this, this lesson which I learned, Swamiji gave me how my adversaries, my own being born in a cow shed, uh, I think I've got more immunity than others because of being born in the cow shed, <laughs> whatever may be the reason. And the poverty, <laughs> and the poverty, but the Swamiji made me, enriched me with so many, uh, so much of this that today, we are able to provide, as, as was said, 1.5 million people's primary health care. Last year we saved, averted, about 600 infant deaths. We do a lot of pediatric care and child care, so we could avert them. And now we have also, last two years, in the COVID management, we did excellent work through all our primary, 70 primary health centers. And there was a hesitation amongst our staff. So I was age 70, I went and sat in the COVID clinic, then everybody started coming. We had no absentees. All of them worked during the COVID period without anybody leaving the jobs. And we did a fairly good job and immunized more than 1.5 million people. And I was also, some amount of immunization in West Bengal was also done. Now all this, uh, was also, there was a development, all this how toward, uh, how, what, usually the impact of work is assessed by the impact on the society. But I, I feel there should be an impact assessment of what happens to the individual who does this work of Swamiji. I think Swamiji enriches us with tremendous uh, transformation of our own personality and that's what I want to share. I started working, identifying with 20,000 Troil Soliga tribal people. Then uh, the, um, the I, divine, uh, I got the opportunity to work at the state level for seven crores of people, for the, especially for the poor. I was a chairman of the task force on health and family welfare, reformed the health system to see that good health care with integrity. There was a lot of corruption in the health services, so I was also an ombudsman trying to clean up better procurement, First time we made the doctors pay back the bribe amount they had received from the patients. All that I tried to do and also there was organ trading which were bad practices. Uh, you can buy a kidney for one lakh rupees from the poor pay people. All that I had, I could, the inequities in the healthcare, I could do some reforms. Then when I identified with seven crore people, I, I really didn't identify myself only with VGKK and Karnatras. I identified with the entire state. Similarly, I had the opportunity at the national level uh, to work with, and at the state level, I had the unique opportunity of Suvarna Aragya Suraksha Trust is a uh, government body. I'm the founder member of that, through which 
we empanel all the private hospitals and the government hospitals and the, all the services are provided free of cost so i established quality standards for empaneling the hospitals and uh, so it has given me a lot of understanding of how to provide good quality services to the poor so that and the national level in the various forms and ultimately I sat in the United Nations UNA assembly and I, I felt I was a citizen and was concerned for all the 6 billion people from 1.2 billion to 6 billion people. This, this expansion was made possible by Swamiji's grace. And identifying myself with the universal life, identifying with the Virat, worshipping the Virat in every form, uh, the, I, it's a Virata Upasana. That's the that's the worship which I did, and my my the I today I find my selfishness has come down. Raga Dvesha Bhaya has come down. I, I was not a humble man like Maharaj was saying. I also had a lot of anger, a lot of many weaknesses, um, but all of that vanished. And Swamiji has given me the wonderful character, which he himself said how it should be. Uh, uh, the man-making education which was talked about, a strong moral service-oriented character, mature character, which can take responsibilities and face the difficulties of life. And that has been made possible. The self-knowledge to understand ourselves, faith in myself. I think I, I had a lot of self-hatred. I don't know how many of you have heard these terms. There's Eric Fromm, uh, the, uh, he's a psychoanalyst, um, humanitarian psychoanalyst, very well known in the West. He wrote wonderful books, including The Art of Loving. So he used the word self-love, self-hatred. So self-love, do we have enough self-love? On the contrary, we hate ourselves. That's why we are busy helping others. So that type of self-hatred and you want to show to the others that you want to help others is no good. We, we cannot hate our lower self. We have to accept our lower self and transform it rather than hating ourselves. I had a lot of self-hatred. And with the Swamiji's idea of the, the love for the higher self, that transforms the faith in oneself, the courage to do, which I see in Atma Priyanji Maharaj walking with the chest and the courage to do anything and courage to be. All this comes from the Swamiji's uh, the, the faith in oneself and we need to have faith in ourselves. And self-hatred we need to know more. Why do you, why, I don't know any of you have bad habits. Uh, smoking, why do you smoke? Why do you drink? Why do you take to drugs? Or why do you overeat and become obese? and destroy our health. That's because of the self-hatred. Deep within the unconscious, we want to destroy ourselves. That's why we get into bad habits. If you have true self-love for our body, then you'll keep the body in a good, you have taken a vow, so you have a responsibility to your own body. Keep your healthy body, don't hate it. If you hate, I think will, all the bad habits will happen. If you love your body, you want to preserve it. Every, every, uh, a cigarette reduces one day of life. We, everybody knows still why do the people do that? That's because they want to destroy themselves. I think we should, the self-hatred is much more problematic and also the second one is we have shadows, we wear masks, we, we have fragmented selves, we have different selves. How to do the integrated personality, a mature integrated personality and it happened, that happens with the Swamiji's grace what we become the fit instruments to do uh, service. Uh, a loving service, what was a service as a, as a vow, as a sankalpa to work for others becomes a loving service. It's a spontaneous. And I think the famous Swamiji saying, call upon the sleeping soul and see how it awakens. The power will come, the glory will come, goodness will come. Purity will come and everything that is excellent will come when the sleeping soul is roused to self-conscious activity. Every word of it is true. I might not have received the Pratyagatman, the highest self, but the, I call it ego awakening, just the mature personality which we talked about by following, by character building, 
we can achieve this. And there is a tremendous joy. I find my, all my stress has disappeared. I have no stress now. There's a source of inner source of uh, joy, love, uh, and uh, it, 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 it expands. And what else you need? And that is the gift which we get by doing uh, this type of service, this type of dedicating ourselves to Swamiji's cause, so whatever Swamiji wanted. And uh, uh, you have this, all these noble vows. So go back, practice them. And I would suggest that you should form an alumni. And when you fully realize and feel that inner source of what Swamiji said, the seeping slowly rose, maybe it happens to you during your student days here itself. If not later, when it gets roused, that's when we should get the Rishihood. How to find out that? How to call it, uh, find out, discover that we have got that sleeping soul has been roused? And get this title of Rishihood is my dream. And Swamiji has given me that Rishihood today by working for the poor and just following that mantra. And of course, I also had my philosophy of life. As long as millions live in hunger and poverty, I hold every man a traitor who having been educated at their expense, pays not least heed to them. I mean, my education, uh, today for medical education, government spends about nearly, um, maybe eight, eight to 10 crores. So where does this money come from? Taxpayers' money. So we get educated. It's our duty to give it back to society. It's not something else. Similarly, the knowledge you have got, you have to share it with others. If you keep on accumulating, giving, the joy of giving, Sacrifice, yagna, the, the, the Virat yagna, if we can do, and keep on giving. That's what Swamiji wanted, and Virat Opasana. I think our, our lives will be fulfilled, and we can achieve this. That sleeping soul will be rise. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity, and I thank the Swamiji for it. Thank you, Dr. Sudarshan, for those wonderful words. Uh, a very illuminating and inspiring life, I'm sure. And I'm equally sure, doubly sure rather, that all our young students today would have appreciated what service as a way of life can do to each one of us. And as I said earlier also, in whatever way you can, you should try to help others in whatever position they might be in society. We now come to the next item of today's program, that is the Vice Chancellor's admission of the new graduates to their respective degrees. The graduates will stand in their seats, please. All of you. New graduates. All the new graduates have to stand. Those who are getting degrees. Jara Jara degree paabe se sabai dadi aache do? As per the authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of the University, I hereby admit you to your degrees and diplomas with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining, for which you have duly qualified by satisfying all the program requirements. Further, I charge you to always strive to adhere to the spirit and letter of the noble vows that you have taken on this occasion to build your lives upon the bedrock of impeccable character, thus proving worthy of this university, bearing the hallowed name of Sri Ram Krishna and Swami Vivekananda. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Yeah, please sit down. Thank you, Maharaj. I would now request from Mr. Ji Maharaj, Chancellor of this university and General Secretary of the Ramakrishna Mat and Ramakrishna Mission to give the Chancellor's address.
ओं नम श्री यतिराजाय विवेकानंदसूर सच्चिसुखस्वरूपाय स्वामी ने तापहारिने एट दि वेरी आउटसेट आई पे माय सल्यूटेशंस एट दि होली फीट ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण द ग्रेट मास्टर होली मादर शारदा देवी द डिवाइन मादर योर मादर माय मादर द यूनिवर्सल मादर and also our leader the general of the militia to who i am a humble soldier swami vivekananda i also express my gratitude and all appreciation at my command for swami atmapriyanand ji in particular who is the founder vice chancellor of this university i remember 15 years back many people even amongst the monastic community we are not there to agree to agree with him as far as founding of the university was concerned but atmapriyanand ji like a lone soldier went ahead and it is due to his conviction courage and boldness that university has come to a stage what it is today i would therefore certainly like to record my appreciation the highest appreciation for swami atmapriyanand ji and i will be failing in my duty if i do not mention the name of the then general secretary Swami Smarananda Ji Maharaj who is now the president of the Global Ramakrishna Mart and Ramakrishna Mission it was Swami Smarananda Ji who extended his unconditional support to Swami Atmapriyanand Ji and it so happened that Swami Smarananand Ji was the first chancellor of this university apart from this i would certainly remember those bold lads monastic and lay who did their best to bring this university to the stature that we see now and today it's great there are two universities in the country which was which is swami ji university vivekananda university once attendly the institute of science in bangalore it was vivekananda the young monk who spoke to jamshed ji tata his co-passenger and convinced him that unless science western science imbued with the spirit of indian culture is there the nation cannot rise to raise the nation to free it from the great slumber to awaken it from the great slumber to free it from the bondage of the britishers education education and education education is the panacea to all evils jamshed ji was convinced and it was jamshed ji who wrote to swami ji maharaj that we have been 
successful in founding this university institute of science bangalore one of the finest science universities in the world the finest maybe in the country and jamshed ji very humbly proposed to vivekananda to become its first director although swami ji politely declined for many other considerations and then the second is this arkem very to my humble mind it was again vivekananda just before his maha samadhi just before i say because it was within a very very limited very few days the swami ji was having a stroll in belur mot with his brother disciple swami premanand ji maharaj and he told two things showing the south he told baburam baburam was his nickname there shall be a bed of vidala here and we all know that today we have a bed of vidala and that too in the southward direction of belur mot and then showing this side swami ji told there shall be a university he said i can see i do not imagine Adishaya drashtaraha, natu kottaraha. It is true, the rishis are not the authors, but they are the seekers of truth. Truth flashed before them. Truth flashed before Swami Ji Maharaj, which is why Swami Ji told his brother disciple Swami Prabhupada Ji, "Jay, look yonder, there shall be a university, and lot of." water has flown down the ganges for different technical reasons we couldn't have the university see the light of the day even as early as 1964 63 there was a committee for founding university and there was no two opinion that once it is founded it will be named vivekananda university but then for some reason or other some formality or other some technical aspect or other prevented and restricted a university in the name of vivekananda coming uh, into reality and seeing the light of the day and it was again uh, when swami atupriyananda was a young monk the principal of our college vidyamandir college at that time this idea again came up and after lot of efforts this was possible that we have a dim to be university for many technical reasons and we had it initially we called it vivekananda university but then some regulations are there which restrict us from calling it straight way vivekananda university which is why we have named it as rk mberi this is why i would once again record my highest appreciation for swami atmapriyananda ji and his dedicated band of colleagues monastic and lay not only at the time at the time of founding till today why because within such 15 years this university has worked only for 15 years but when i look at this university as a on looker i always feel that the university has worked for a century now and this has been possible because of the sincerity dedication and commitment of our staff member our students our monks and so on uh, this is why this university could in the nag grading just follow institute of science bangalore only by Uh, maybe a fraction of percentile and this is a great great honor 
and this speaks of great blessings of vivekananda on this university which is why i always tell that vivekananda has two universities in the country one is institute of science bangalore which is again the uh, brand child of vivekananda and then this is because of the blessings of vivekananda vivekananda for so that this university will be there and swami ji also predicted that in due course this will not be restricted only to this campus of arkham berry or to the up, up campuses that we have six or seven up campus that we have the entire belur mart will be the university this university will include the entire belur mart there will be uh, you, you have got the training centers for example of the brahmacharins that will also be a part of this university the beda vidyalaya that we have that will also be part of this university and all scientific you know uh, uh, researches including our vidyamandir college and other allied colleges other colleges allied to dam krishna mission all these will constitute uh, uh, part of this university and that's what swami ji uh, had seen swami ji has says belur mart will be a university swami ji again said that i founded this organization for, and this organization is going to continue for 1500 years now many people do come and ask us many people to come and ask us that well swami ji came swami ji told that a new india is coming up swami ji has spoken of so many good things about the future india but what we see today around is something very very different the first point is we have to take into consideration that swami ji spoke of 1500 years swami ji didn't speak of 15 years swami ji spoke of 1500 years now let's come 1500 years if you compare it with a human day well uh how long it is maybe we have outlived one hour and a half 1500 years is compared to a human day and a human day is equivalent to 24 hours so sun has just risen in the sky eastern sky we are now at 7 or 6:30 6:45 a.m let's wait what happens when we reach 12 the other day just before corona started uh i got a call from the british embassy in kolkata that the head of the department of modern history in oxford university wants to meet you for 5 minutes she wants an appointment so i was glad to grant her grant her an appointment mrs harris ruth she is researching on vivekananda and uh, well when ruth came by the way i asked her mrs ruth how many people in oxford do know vivekananda ruth told smiled a little and told swami you better ask me how many people in oxford do not know vivekananda everybody in oxford knows vivekananda only 100 years or so and uh, one of the professors of oxford university who is a boy from kolkata many of you must be knowing him or at least heard about him sen gupta so he writes the treatise he posted it in internet he says what is the secret 125 years so many multinationals have grown up and died out but this ramakrishna mission is an organization run by a few seven-headed monastics even today we have including our brother who came yesterday is 1800 plus after 125 years and out of this after permutation and combination the task force effective task force that we have is 1525 we have centers in 24 countries all over the world running into 
ten is the total number. So what is the secret, they say? This organization which uh, has no controversy, no major scandal, and it is running from strength to strength, and being run by non-professionals, a few monastics, seven-headed monastics, who are students of Vedanta. Now if we ask, Sengupta says, if we ask who is the number one mathematician in the world today, given that choice to me, I am an Oxonian, I am a scholar in Oxford, with all information at my back, I can confidently say this is a monk of Ramakrishna mission. And uh, I hope some of you know his name, Swami Vidyanathanando Mahan Maharaj. He was here Dean of uh, Studies for some time. He is being mentioned, it's not I who say, he is being mentioned by Professor Sengupta of Oxford University as the top post mathematician in the world. Now again he asks, who is the best exponent on Vedanta today in the world? A young Swami. He was also associated with this university. He draws more than a million viewers. Everybody a student of Vedanta in the world in any nook and corner of, corner of the world know this Swami, Swami Sarvopriyananda. Anybody who even doesn't know much about Ramakrishna mission, maybe many of them know Sarvopriyananda today. He is again a young monastic of Ramakrishna mission. Then he says, again Sengupta says, I quote Sengupta, don't take me a means. He says that young man, very young budding philosopher, but very prominent philosopher in the Oxford University today is again a young monk of Ramakrishna order. And what is his name? His name is again an ex Arkembri Vayan Maharaj. So this is what Sengupta says. And what is the secret? They say that the secret is, secret is detached management. Servant leadership, that is the secret. But today, one thing we can very well understand, we can very well feel, I being the first servant of an international organization, I have the privilege of having access to certain information, certain pulses every day, which maybe many do not have. Today, Swami Vivekananda's ideas, Vivekananda's philosophy is creating ripples. I would like to narrate another incident uh, just before Corona. I had a call from Indian uh, Chinese Embassy in Calcutta, Chinese Consul General in Calcutta. He called me and he wanted to meet me. I asked him to come the following Sunday. Now he came, he came with a lot of tea, and they are, they are very famous for packages. So I asked him jocularly, sarcastically I told him, have you come here to market tea? He told, no, I have come here to market Vivekananda. <laughs> now, Chinese consul general in Kolkata coming to the headquarters of Ramakrishna mission, to market Vivekananda is a very, very strange proposal. And uh, anyway, we had a long talk. He told, I am coming to meet you at the instance of the highest political leadership of my country. Well, who is that? Why? Well, we have in the material world practically reached a point where we have sufficient reason to be complacent. But we are faced with a crisis. And that crisis is something which India can only help us. And India in general, I'm speaking of, 
particularly Vivekananda. He told that Vivekananda is not only the most celebrated philosopher in India, he is the most celebrated philosopher in China too. And he told one very strange thing. I was startled to hear it. He told that we have not learned Marx. Uh, we have not, not learned communism, socialism from Marx or Lenin. We have learned it from Swami Vivekananda. And the highest political leadership in China today feel, they strongly do believe that Vivekananda's packages can only cure our boys and girls suffering from different ailments, purposelessness and so on in our universities and colleges. He proposed an exchange program. I told exchange program may not be possible. Then he proposed that a band of monks can go and you know talk in the university and so on. That's why what I am telling is that Vivekananda today is taking the entire world by a storm. I, I, uh, I was reading a book uh, written by one scientist couple in, in Harvard University. I, uh, the, the name of the book is The Gift Unopened. Uh, our brothers must have read this book. This is a very famous book published by Imagine Publishers. The gift unopened. So in the foreword, uh, the scientist couple, who are the authors, uh, Eleanor Sturk and his wife, Mrs. and Mr. Eleanor Sturk, and they are telling that uh, uh, more than a hundred years now that we, we are gifted uh, with a wonderful gift by Jesus, but we are so slow coach, we didn't bother to bother to open the uh, red ribbon, untie the gift, and see what it was all about. Uh, although it is late, but better late than ne uh, never. Come and see what it is all about inside. And then when it was opened, it was found that the gift was Vivekananda, Vivekananda, and Vivekananda all through. Then they are writing, the scientist couple is writing a wonderful thing. If Columbus discovered the soil of America, Vivekananda discovered the soul of America. Vivekananda not only discovered the soul of America, Vivekananda discovered the, the, the soul of India too. And which is why to a university who teaches mostly science, uh, our, our young budding scientists, they are uh, going out of one phase only to fall into another. Maybe many of them will still pursue their higher degrees. Maybe uh, will, uh, some of them will try to get into uh, job, some job. But then, one thing you must remember, you are going to many universities, you, are going, you had gone to many educational institutions earlier prior to coming over here. Now, when you go to other educational institutions, there are educational institutions of excellence, even in India. Maybe number is very few, but then they are out. Uh, but uh, I would like to say that when you leave this university, you do not leave this with a bag of information. You live with an additional element that is Swami Vivekananda, the flavor of Vivekananda. You are a person extraordinary, different from the common rats passing by the street, and this is Vivekananda. Whether you have consciously imbued it or you have not consciously imbued it doesn't matter. I remember a scholar telling that, well, some religion is aggressive. Some religion is proselytizing, but the most dangerous is the religion of Vivekananda in the modern times because it is infectious. Once you get in touch with Vivekananda, you near, come near Vivekananda, there is no escape from Vivekananda. You have already imbued Vivekananda consciously 
or unconsciously during your sleep in your dream or otherwise when you are awake you are vivekananda when vivekananda is yours and this vivekananda has predicted a very very bright future for us and now sometimes we react we think that uh, everything is lost uh, we think that uh, you know god is in, not in heaven god is not in heaven and everything is not right with the world no we are making very positive uh, positive uh, you know uh, movement for example if i be permitted to say so pro chancellor <coughs> maharaj will you permit me to say so so very very ordinary experiences two experiences i would like to share with you uh, number one is i think it is now 22 years back precisely 2000 i was invited to inaugurate a seminar on value education to be attended by the schools and colleges principal principals of the schools and colleges in mumbai city and then the chief guest of the function was uh, one mrs kamat who was the vice chancellor at the time of the sndt university in mumbai you must be knowing that sndt university those days was the only women's university in the asian continent anyway so after the our function was over then the vice chancellor told me that swami ji are you free in the evening i will yes uh then it, then she told that i would i i i run an ngo ngo in the slums of mumbai and uh, i would love to have you there in at least in one of or two night schools there so i gladly accepted the invitation and uh, the swami of the ashram also gave me a car to go there and then when we went naturally Uh, i was going uh, and then i am an outsider i am a monk of ramakrishna mission so they took care that everything is in order it happens so anyway uh, when i went the teacher the lady teacher uh, in the night school she was teaching and she was teaching it it, uh, it sounds strange but it is it is my personal experience she was teaching that shepherd boy story that she is of several story you know the shepherd boy used to loudly cry that tiger has come come and save me so first day everybody went and found that tiger has not come and second day also the same thing happened and third day the tiger really came nobody went thinking that this boy is cracking jokes at our expense and tiger came and at at him so there is a list in the shops fable story of this particular story in every shops fable story you have listen and here also we have listen what is the lesson we all know that you must speak the truth otherwise you may be it no by it i got that's what it is but when the ma'am ask the students you know acha bachcho aapne kya seekh liya isse kon kon seekh liya kon kon samjhe isko bahut hat to many boys and girls raised hands and then one standing in the uh, first uh, bench so he was asked bachcho bolo kya seekh liya aapne bolo ma'am humne yahi seekh liya jo hamesha jhoot bolna padega uh, jitna din jhoot bologe itna din tumko madad karne ke liye aadmi aayenge jis din se sach bolna shuru karoge us din baad mein bahut ho jayega so that is what it is now what is my reaction what is your reaction at this personally speaking if you are i am asked to comment on this i will say i am very happy because we were steeped in tamas we didn't have the voice to speak we didn't have the intelligence to even speak a manipulated things you didn't have we are we are we are you know uh, tamas full of tamas full of inertia it is vivekananda who gave the shock shake leviathan is rising and at least they have this kind of rajas they have been elevated to that they can ma- manipulate and speak a thing according to their own intelligence so india is progressing the nation is progressing another incident i promised to you that i will tell 
and I hope that uh, nobody minds at this. Uh, I was invited to speak to a university uh, in Bengal. I will not tell uh, a particular place. In Bengal, anywhere, I was invited to speak to uh, the boys and girls of the university and then as you can very well understand, it will be either on Vedanta or on Swami Vivekananda or Sri Ramakrishna and Mother. Now, as it happens, my car to do this, that university, one has to go from the main road through the alleys, alleys and then, you know, you reach the university and uh, lanes and by lanes. And when we were going, a lot of uh, young boys with earring here, long hairs, standing in cluster, and they were completely silent. They were not speaking to each other. And then my car was making way, and then after some time, we found a, a bunch of girls uh, on uh, pants and uh, banyan, and then smoking, regularly smoking, cracking jokes, giggling at each other, full of mirth. So uh, my driver was from Jharkhand. He asked me, Maharaj, Aapko kya purisani ho ra hai? Ah, nahi, nahi, purisani kuch nahi ho ra hai. Are you fe feeling troubled? Well, no, I'm not feeling troubled. Le purisani ka koi baat nahi hai. Pahle jabana mein lerkiya jo karti thi, wo aaj ka lerke karte hai. Lerke jo karte thi, wo aaj ka lerkiya karte hai. Jamana badal kiya. So when I went there, the vice chancellor was not there, the pro-vice chancellor was there, and then other people were there. It was an auditorium like this. Hardly 100 people can be accommodated. And I narrated this story and I started my speech. And in no time the auditorium is full to the brim. People, boys and girls were standing near the window panes. And then, you know, again boys and girls were standing in front of the main door. And the people who invited me, they ran panicky. They thought that boys and girls must have been offended at this and they do not know what is going to happen next. But I did never feel this. After my speech was over, one girl, postgraduate girl, stood up and told Swamiji, you have told this, what's your reaction to this? I told, my reaction is very, very positive. Well, why? Well, look, this is the first time during last centuries, few centuries, that our women folk have started talking to each other, expressing themselves, enjoying uh, a certain amount of liberty, and uh, they, they, they are uh, uh, doing well uh, along with their male counterparts. Swami Vivekananda had this dream. Swami Vivekananda told, that unless men are equally gifted with women, women are equally gifted with men, a nation cannot take off. Just as a bird has two wings, and if the bird, uh, both the wings are not equally healthy, the bird cannot take off. So, this is the first time during last few centuries. Before this, what was the role of our women? Hardly our women used to go to schools and colleges. Hardly are you women used to uh, take any uh, uh, pivotal role in the society, much less society, even in their family matters, they do not, didn't have much to say. They used to shed tears silently behind the screens at dead deep night. And uh, they were considered to be a liability in the society. They were never considered as it. And Swamiji told that this is not going to do. Because unless the women folk are equally, uh, uh, equally uh, endowed with dignity, education, and rights, we can't have a society taking off well. And after Vivekananda's advent, this is gradually happening. And that will be aversion, uh, aberration. There has been aberration. Uh, when 
Mm, you start taking beef, maybe you take a little more beef than others, regular beef eaters. It's happening. It's happening because they have been deprived, they have been oppressed, they have been looked, up, uh, looked down upon, they, had, they have been denied all kinds of rights and privileges. Now they have got it. So much so that uh, I think our uh, 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 ladies, uh, respected ladies will excuse me for saying so, that our, our act, our legislation has given so much of right to our women that uh, the wife can send the husband to the jail within one hour. So naturally, not getting the right, not getting the due, uh, you know, the dignity, not getting their ounce of privileges, uh, they have been suffering for, a, for centuries together. And it is Vivekananda, once again has given this clarion call. The, unless we take care of our women, our society cannot take up. So now that women has located their rights and privileges, mm -hmm. located their rights and privileges, uh, it is quite natural that they are not able to withstand this shock. That's why um, you will see that our women chief ministers and women prime ministers are much more assertive than they, their counterparts in the male folk. You don't have many Indira Gandhis, and you don't have many chief ministers as you have uh, around. So <clears throat> naturally, this is because of the reaction that they have been suffering. But this will settle down, and we are going to a millennium where we are reaching a very, very uh, desired uh, status, position, involvement, and milieu. And that's why, uh, you see, when, when you have a carpet, you, buy, you have purchased a carpet, you have brought this carpet from the market, you have laid it down, and now you, you cleanse it with vacuum cleaner, and maybe once a week you throw fragrance and you feel that God is in heaven and everything is right with the world. But after 10 years or 12 years, you uh, suddenly feel that what has happened below, below the carpet. Let me see. I have not been seeing all these days after purchase of this carpet. So let me see what is happening there. And when you take out the carpet, you find layer of dust below. And do you keep the carpet as it is again? No. You cleanse, and when you cleanse, at the time there is, a, uh, uh, there is an anarchical condition. There is a condition very chaotic, smoky, as if, uh, you know, the previous condition was much better. But no. You are heading towards a very good millennium, your cherished millennium. Once this smoky atmosphere settles, then you will find that atmosphere is much more somber than it was when you didn't care to see what is happening below the carpet and care to cleanse it. And we are through this cleansing process. And that's why the boys and girls uh, today uh, being conferred the degrees I understand the, they may be, well, 285 in number. I would like to congratulate each one of them, uh, three-year B and BSc, two-year MA and MSc, five-year integrated MA, and MSc, PG diploma, MPhil and PhD programs, all these students, they belong to different categories. They are true with flying class. And as I have already told that some of them will go for higher studies and some of them may go and jump into the fray of career, job. And uh, whatever it is, I wish every one of you the very best. And I have a prayer to all of you that the flavor, the fragrance that you have got here. Here education was not only uh, a bag of information uh, running riot all through in your brain, undigested. Here, education gave you something uh, more than the information, and that is flavor of the soul. And uh, that flavor of the soul you got, 
And now you carry Vivekananda in your heart. You will go through many vicissitudes, but if you want to really do well in life, if you hold on to Vivekananda, you will find that you will reach the Everest. Uh, to name a few today, I hope you will excuse me uh, for naming a few who have dedicated his life and has been inspired by Swami Vivekananda and has reached the Everest. You must have heard that handicapped girl, Oruni Masinha, she is the, uh, she has scaled, not only Everest, she has scaled the Helasinki. She is uh, an ardent devotee of Vivekananda. She was spoke, uh, she was asked by the press club of Delhi that what is the secret of your success? And Urunima told the secret, so Raj Johai, Chota Sek Lab Chai, oh, hai, Swami Vivekananda. I carry Vivekananda in my heart. I carry Vivekananda's photograph and keep it in my breast even during my sleep. And you have heard of uh, that uh, film actress, very famous film actress, radical film actress. Uh, mm, I heard her uh, story uh, because in Mumbai uh, I shared a das with her uh, on uh, the birthday of Vivekananda. So uh, her name is Kangana Ranawat and she claims that she was under a cloud of deep depression and it was coming across Vivekananda's ideas that she came out of it and she is what she is. And you all know that our Prime Minister came here to become a sadhu. Even today when I ask him, he says, Khair, bahat afsus ka baat hai. So naturally, uh, Anna Hazare, you know, that Anna Hazare, his life was shaped by Vivekananda and they gave Vivekananda's ideas. And today, he is an icon, household name in Maharashtra, in social activist circle. So that's why Vivekananda is that dark stone which turns iron into gold. We all are ordinary people, but we have come hearing the clarion call of Swamiji Maharaj. And during our stay here, during our living the life here, during our tenure in this organization, all of us have been here for such a long time, half a century almost, or little more than half a century. And we are absolutely sure that it is Vivekananda who made a man of us. He brought us, he picked us up from the street and he made a man of us. And today, anywhere in India you go, Vivekananda is a name which has been uh, almost like a household name. You speak of any political leader in our country, or even uh, beyond our country, no political leader speaks against Vivekananda. You speak to Narendra Modi, he speaks of Vivekananda. You speak to Mamata Banerjee as well, and she also speaks of Vivekananda. Because Vivekananda is a compulsion today. Vivekananda is no more a choice. And when our Prime Minister goes, this is the first time that in Gulf countries, Prime Minister of India is gifted with complete set of Swami Vivekananda. That's why we must know whether the wind blows. There is ripple in the Atlantic, there is ripple in Pacific, there is ripple everywhere. And Swamiji had a desire from the students, from the teachers of an institution of this standing. Swamiji was categorical when he says that Western science must be coupled with Eastern Vedanta. And that must be done. Western science must be there, but then the face must be of Eastern Vedanta. If Western science is coupled with the spirit, with the uh, human, human milkness, of Eastern Vedanta, then only we will have a new world order. And Vivekananda is for that. And that's why we are heading towards very, very positive tomorrow. There is nothing to be absolutely, uh, what you call, depressed about, negative about, pessimistic about. We are making ways and making ways 
to Vivekananda's India, the India about which Vivekananda said that India must rise, but it must sit at the feet of Sri Ramakrishna. India must accept the exclusiveness of Sri Ramakrishna's message. It is, if it is done, if you are a scientist, if you are a farmer, if you are a professor, if you are an intellectual, if you are a bureaucrat, for that matter, even if you are a politician, you will be better as a politician, as a bureaucrat, and so on. Which is why I again request you with folded palms that when you go, you go with degrees, you go with diplomas, you go with even PhD uh, degrees, you go to colleges, you become lecturers, you go to other offices, and some of you will go for further studies abroad and here, but never forget that you have got an additional bag which no other university can give you, and that is Vivekananda. And with these few words, I uh, pray to Swami Vivekananda, my leader, for all of you. Sarve Sukhino Bhavantu, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu, Makuschita Dukamapnuat. Let all be happy, let all be free from ailments, let all be blessed with the vision of truth, beauty, and goodness. Let misery touch none. Thank you so very much. And once again, I uh, thank profusely Swami Atma Priyanandaji and Swami Sarvattamanandaji who have given me this excellent opportunity to be here this lovely afternoon. And my, my con compliments, congratulations, congratulations to all our students who are due to be conferred with degrees today and my respects and regards to the mem learned members of the faculty. Thank you, thank you so very much. Thank you, Revered Maharaj, for a very exhaustive and comprehensive Chancellor's address. We all feel inspired and uh, motivated to do much better in whatever fields we are. And I'm also sure our young students who are going out today will do, would do well to take his words seriously because Maharaj has spent his entire monastic life in education institutions. You know what, how, how and what to tell students. And uh, one small request to our audience here, kindly switch off your mobile phones. Like when Christ was crucified on the cross in Golgotha, he had said to his father in heaven, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. But you people who do not put up the mobile phones here, they cannot say, Father, Thakur do not forgive them, for they know what they do. And now we come to the next item of today's program, the award of prizes and medals to the toppers. I request my Kalesh Anandaji, control of examinations to make the announcements. Please come. I am glad to announce the names of 285 candidates from the Belur, Narandapur and Ranchi campuses of our university who are qualified for the award of degrees and diplomas. In this 17th annual convocation ceremony, the degrees to be awarded to 18 PhD candidates, 4 MPhil candidates, to 15 MA, MSc or integrated MA or integrated MSc candidates, 24 BA or BSc candidates. The postgraduate diploma to be awarded to 24 candidates. As I announce the names of the graduates, their certificates along with their photographs will be displayed on the screen. When the names of the graduates will be announced, the PhD candidates, MPhil candidates, and the first tank holders of different masters and bachelor's programs are requested to come forward to the dais to receive their degree certificates, medals, or award as the case may be. PhD in Bengali. 
अरिंदम सरकार मरे एंड क्लाबिंग टुगेदर दैट कॉन्फर्मेशन ऑफ डिग्रीज एंड मेडल्स टुगेदर the awards of prizes and confirmation of degrees is being done simultaneously phd in bengali next partha sarathi sarkar shomitra kundu नेक्स्ट सौमित्र कोंडू सुदीप कोले PhD in physics Karthik Panda absent PhD in Sanskrit Sip Shankar Karan Joydev Dinda absent Nitananda Manna विष्णुपद पाल सनातन दास सुजीत माइती सब सुकांत मान्ना त्रिदीप राय मंडल PhD in environment and disaster management Narendrapur campus Mahadev Bera PhD in medical Bio biotechnology Narendrapur campus Somnath Ghoshal PhD in agriculture rural and tribal development ranchi kostab mojumdar kostab mojumdar phd in agriculture rural and tribal development ranchi campus manoj raul सुरेश कुमार महतो एम पिल इन संस्कृत शंख सुब्र गच्छेत शांतनु नायक एम फिल इन योगा 
Haridas Bormon, absent. Rama Arya. First rank holders in different masters and bachelor's programs. Alimpon Barik, MSc in Big Data Analytics. The Topper's Prize instituted by Sri Subodh Kumar, Ray Choudhury, and Dr. Sudhir Kumar Bishwas. Devanjan Datto. Devanjan Datto, MSc in Computer Science. Devanjan Datto, MS in Computer Science. Joint first. The Topper's Prize is instituted by Sri Shubhad Krishna Rai Chaudhary and Dr. Sudhir Kumar Bishwas. Huh. Shobbo Sachi Chatterjee. Huh, he's got, please come forward. MSc in Computer Science. Ritam Haldar, MS in Mathematics. The Topper's Prize instituted by Mish Uma Basu, Sri Shwapan Kumar Datta, and Dr. Sudhir Kumar Vishwas. Krishna Tiwari, MS in Physics. Joint first. She will also get Sovarani Day Memorial Award. Memento. Hmm? Uh, uh, physics. MS in physics. Joint first. Subhajit Kala, MS in Physics. Oh, please come. Joint first. So, he will also get Sovarani Day Memorial Award. The Topper's Prize instituted by Srimuti Kalpana Sarkar, Sri Somnath Sarkar, Ms. Uma Basu, Sri Shopan Kumar De, Sri Shopan Kumar Datta, and Dr. Sudhir Kumar Bishwas. Prabhat Kumar Mondol, 
इंटीग्रेटेड एम इन संस्कृत अद्वैत वेदांत द टॉपर्स प्राइज इंस्टीट्यूटेड बाय श्री गोपाल चंद्र बाइन श्री सिद्धार्थ सेन एंड श्री स्वपन कुमार दत्त सैकत महंता इंटीग्रेटेड एम इन संस्कृत व्याकरण कौस्तव सेनगुप्ता एम एस सी इन एग्रीकल्चरल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी द टॉपर्स प्राइज इंस्टीट्यूट बाई श्रीमती लीना बोस एंड डॉक्टर सुधीर कुमार विश्वास Deep Banerjee, MSc in Agriculture and Rural Development. Deep Banerjee. Asmita Vasu, <coughs> MSc in Environment and Disaster Management. The Topper's Prize, instituted by Srimati Lolita Chakravarti and Srimati Shuhasini Kostov Sukla. Sayantan Das, MSCAG in Genetics and Plant Breeding. The Topper's Prize is instituted by Srimati Lina Bosch, Sri Tapan Kumar Rai, and Dr. Sudhir Kumar Bishwas. Sottajit Poddar. MSc in Medical Biotechnology. Pratham batch, first batch. The Topper's Prize instituted by Dr. Maitri Chandra, Srimati Shumana Panja, and Sri Kostav Sukla. Dishani Mitro, MSc in Agriculture, Rural and Tribal Development, Ranchi Campus. Ranchi. The Topper's Prize, instituted by Srimuthi Lina Bos, Srimuthi Shumita Lahiri, Dr. Sudhir Kumar Bishwas, and Sri Shubhat Krishna Rai Chaudhari. Pradyut Chaki, MMSC in Rural Development and Management. The Topper's Prize is instituted by Srimuthi Lina Bosch, Srimuthi Shumita Lahiri, Dr. Sudhir Kumar Bishwas 
अंश्री सुबोध कृष्ण राय चौधरी मनीष कुमार झा बी ए ऑनर्स इन संस्कृत द टॉपर्स प्राइज इंस्टिट्यूट बाई श्री गोपाल चंद्र बायन श्री स्वपन कुमार दत्ता एंड श्रीमती सुहासनी कौस्तुभ शुक्ला विश्वरूप बेज बी ए ऑनर्स इन संस्कृत जॉइंट फर्स्ट बाप्पादित्य महता बी एस सी ऑनर्स इन एग्रीकल्चर रूरल एंड ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट रांची कैंपस टॉपर्स प्राइज इन्स्टिट्यूटेड बाई श्रीमती लीना बोस श्रीमती सुमिता लाहिरी डॉक्टर सुधीर कुमार विश्वास एंड श्री सुबोध सुबोध कृष्ण राय चौधरी Over. MSc in Big Data Analytics, 2020-22 batch. Alimpan Barik. Aritra Raut. दिव्यन्दु दास दीपम बोनिक दृष्टान दास महेंद्र नंदी नीलाब्जनयन बेरा नीलोत्पल सरकार प्रतीक कर्मकार शावन आईच सौरभ भट्टाचार्य सौरभ कर्मकार सौर्य चैटार्जी एंड सृजन मल्लिक एम एस सी इन कम्पिटर सायस टू थाउजेंड टोटी टोटी टू बैच देवांजन दत्त प्रीतेश कुमार रीतम मान्ना मित्र सब्यसाची चैटार्जी सूर्यदीप दासगुप्त शुभजित पात्र एंड अनुराग मुखर्जी एम एस इन मैथामेटिक्स टू थाउजेंड टोटी टोटी टू बैच आलापन घोष अनिकेत भट्टाचार्य देवद्री बेरा देवतेश देवतोष राउत हृतिक नंदी कौशिक लायक कृष्णकान बारिक प्रवाल दास रीतम हालदार सायन मुखर्जी सैकत कोले सैकत मंडल सैकत सामुई सन्दीपन दासगुप्त सायन गांगुली शुभदीप राणा सुभाषीष विश्वास सुमन चैटार्जी सुमन दास स्वरूप कुमार दास स्वरूपानंद बनार्जी एंड तमग्न कर एम एस इन फिजिक्स 2020-22 थाउजेंड टोटी टू बैच अग्निपन सहा अनुमित्र मुखोपाध्याय अर्णव भोवाल चिराग सामंत देवद्रीता राय देवरीन भौमिक देवरूप घोष दिशा बंदोपाध्याय कृष्णा तेवारी मौली सहा राजेश जाना 
রিজু পারিয়া রোহন হাজরা রিক ধর্মপাল ব্যানার্জি শৈবাল মিশ্র সৈকত জানা সায়ন্তন বিশ্বাস শালিনী মাঝি শ্রেয়া দেবনাথ শ্রেয়সী পাল শ্যামসুন্দর হাজরা সিদ্ধার্থ দত্ত সৌমিত রায় সৌমজিৎ বোস সৌনক পাল শ্রেয়ান ভৌমিক শুভ মাইতি শুভজিৎ কলা সুবীর মান্না সুজয় মণ্ডল অ্যান্ড তন্ময় আচার্য মাস্টার অফ আর্টস ইন্টিগ্রেটেড বি এ অনার্স প্লাস এম এ ইন সংস্কৃত টু থাউজেন্ড সেভেন্টিন টোয়েন্টি টু ব্যাচ অনিক কুমার দাস অনিমেশ রায় অনুপম মাইতি অপূর্ব দাস দেবজ্যোতি কুণ্ডু দেবকুমার পূজারি কার্তিক রুই দাস নয়ন চৌধুরী নিত্যগোপাল পাত্র প্রভাত কুমার মণ্ডল সৈকত মহন্ত সৌভিক পাত্র সোমনাথ বর্মন সোমনাথ সিংহ সৌরভ পোরেল অ্যান্ড সুজয় বর্মন এম এস ইন ইয়োগ টু থাউজেন্ড ব্যাচ দীপক কুমার শ অ্যান্ড সোমেশ্বর বিশ্বাস এম এ ইন ইয়োগা টু থাউজেন্ড ব্যাচ দীপম আড্ডি কামিং মিবাং সৈকত মালিক প্রান্তিক কোলে এম এস ইন এগ্রিকালচার বায়োটেকনোলজি টু থাউজেন্ড ব্যাচ ঐশ্বর্য ভট্টাচার্য অলোকেশ পাল অরিজিৎ সামন্ত বিদিশা চক্রবর্তী দেবর্গ চক্রবর্তী কাবেরি দাস কৌস্তভ সেনগুপ্ত নিহারিকা দাস প্রীতম ব্যানার্জি পৃথা ভুনিয়া রাজদীপ সরকার রূপক ঘোষ সৌমাভ মণ্ডল এম এস সি ইন এগ্রিকালচার অ্যান্ড রুরাল ডেভেলপমেন্ট টু থাউজেন্ড ব্যাচ অদিতি মণ্ডল অদ্রিকা দে অনামিকা দত্ত অন্বেষা প্রধান অর্ণব কুমার মণ্ডল অর্ণব সরকার বাসব দত্তা প্রধান দীপ ব্যানার্জি গণেশ মণ্ডল জীবনজিৎ মাহাতো কুন্দন মাহাতো মৈনাক চক্রবর্তী প্রকাশ মান্না রিনিকা হালদার সম্রাট দাস সঙ্গীতা সর্দার শঙ্খ শুভ্র কারফা সায়ন চক্রবর্তী সায়নী অধিকারী সায়ন্তনী হাজরা শুভজিৎ ব্যানার্জি সুদীপ্ত বিশ্বাস সুমন গৈর বিকাশ সরকার এম এস সি ইন এনভায়রনমেন্ট অ্যান্ড ডিজাস্টার ম্যানেজমেন্ট টু থাউজেন্ড ব্যাচ অর্ক কুমার অস্মিতা বাসু বাণী তালুকদার দিশা কর মৌমিতা ঘোষ রাজশ্রী বৈদ্য শেখ সাহিল সাকলিন সৌমজিৎ চক্রবর্তী সৌরভ হালদার অ্যান্ড সুস্মিতা দে এম এস সি এগ্রিকালচার ইন জেনেটিক্স অ্যান্ড প্ল্যান্ট বিল্ডিং টু ব্যাচ অমরেশ মল আনোয়ার হোসেন দেবজ্যোতি রায় দীপান্বিতা দাস পয়ব্রত রায় প্রত্যুষ প্রতিহার রাকেশ মণ্ডল সাত্যকীনন্দন মাইতি সায়ন্তন দাস সৃজা বিশ্বাস অ্যান্ড সুদীপ নন্দি এম এস ইন মেডিকেল বায়োটেকনোলজি টু থাউজেন্ড ব্যাচ অগ্নিপ চক্রবর্তী বর্ণালী হালদার চন্দ্রেয়া মুখার্জি দীপশিখা শেঠ জয়িতা ভট্টাচার্য খুরশিদ আলম নীলাঞ্জন দে প্রকৃতি সুন্দর সামন্ত ঋষি ভট্টাচার্য 
दिया दत्त सत्यजित पोदार तनुश्री जाना एंड उर्बीनाथ एम एस सी इंटीग्रेटेड इन एग्रिकल्चर रूरल एंड ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन ट्वेंटी टू बैच आकांक्षा कुंडू भावना विप्रजित सरकार दिशानी मित्र हिरणमय मंडल कुमुदिनी ओराव पवन राज रणित दे संजीव कुमारी सत्यानंद वेदिया शिवम शेखर पति श्वेता कुमारी सौम्य रॉय सौभिक गायन सुमित मिश्र कल्लोल घोष सारथी कुमारी एम एस सी इन एग्रिकल्चर रूरल एंड ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बैच रांची कैंपस देवयानी कुमारी धीरज कुमार गौरव कुमार निहार कुमार महतो रंजना दे रूपम विश्वास शुभदीप माइती शौभिक चंद्र कुमार स्वर्णाली शाहा स्वाति किरण एम एस सी इन रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बैच दिनेश ओराव दीपिता पाल मृत्युंजय कुमार प्रद्युत चाकी प्रिय गुप्त राजेश कुमार महतो रीता कुमारी सुमन घोष स्वर्णिमा कर्ण तिथि आदक एम ए इन रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बैच वीरेंद्र कुमार महतो योगेंद्र कुमार खुशबू कुमारी निखिल कुमार नीलाद्री शेखर कोले राहुल कुंडू रूपा कुमारी संगीता कुमारी सूरज प्रकाश मंडल एम ए इन रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट 2018-20 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी बैच विभूषित एंगलो तिरके बी ए ऑनर्स इन संस्कृत टू थाउजेंड बैच सिद्धार्थ मंडल बी एस सी ऑनर्स इन एग्रीकल्चर रूरल एंड ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट 2017-20 बैच अनुपमा महतो दिनेश ओणाव बी एस सी ऑनर्स इन एग्रीकल्चर रूरल एंड ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट टू थाउजेंड बैच अनसुआ तिवारी अनुराधा टिग्गा विनय कुमार वर्मा विश्राम वेदिया मनीषा तिरके मंती वेदिया उत्तम कुमार महतो बी एस सी ऑनर्स इन एग्रीकल्चर रूरल एंड ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट 2019-22 थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू बैच बाप्पादित्य महता धर्मेंद्र महतो दीपशिखा भारती जयदीप सरकार कौस्तभ भट्टाचार्य मोहिनी निशा मोहनी सरकार राजेश मंडल रिया सेनापति शाग्निक वासु सौमित्र शाहा सुप्रीता घोष सूर्य नारायण तनुमय दत्त पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट डिप्लोमा इन योगा 2021-22 बैच अंशु कुमार गुप्ता कुंतल मंडल नयन मल्लिक
पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट डिप्लोमा इन पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट एंड फूड टेक्नोलॉजी एट नरेंद्रपुर कैंपस 2021-22 बैच ओभिक कांति पाल अनिर्वाण दत्त राय विदिशा करार देवस्मिता दास देवदास मंडल देवजानी घोष देवलीना नाथ इंद्रजित मान्ना कुंतल चट्टराज नयन कुमार दे पार्थ सारथी पाल रूप सरकार शांतनु मंडल सप्तीपा पाल सायंती भट्टाचार्य सोम सूर्या माइती सुब्रत मंडल सुमन चटर्जी तन्मय मान्ना तियासा नंदी एंड संदीप माइती दैट्स ऑल दिस टोटल लिस्ट ऑफ 285 कैंडिडेट्स एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेसन टू ऑल द न्यू ग्रेजुएट्स थैंक यू ऑल So that was a long, rather lengthy procedure, awarding certificates, degrees and diplomas, prizes, etc. But a very pleasant occasion. Congratulations to all the students and a combined good wishes to all of you in whatever endeavor you might attempt in life. We now come to the next item of today's convocation program. Brahmachari Minmoy Maharaj will propose the vote of thanks. नम श्रेयतिराजाय विवेकानंदसूर सच्चिदुखस्वूपाय स्वामीने तापहारिने इट इज अ प्रिवलेज टू डेलीवर द वोट ऑफ थैंक्स ऑल दो इट इज अ फॉर्मल वे ऑफ थैंकिंग बट इन आवर माइंड वी थैंक ऑल ऑफ अस दैट इज दोज हु आर एसोसिएटेड विद द यूनिवर्सिटी each day i i really want to thank this present batch in a big way because you have uh, you have graduated in a time which is which was full with lot of troubles we know we all were hardly hit by the pandemic despite all that you you were with us you bore all the difficulties in teaching learning the physical and mental troubles that we all together underwent you were with us so big thanks to all the graduating students especially for this batch mm. i also thank all the teachers of all the departments across all four campuses once again because of the pandemic there were a lot of difficulties in teaching learning and you all of you went out of your way and in a big way a lot of new things we adopted these two years and you were with us you also invented many things and all the difficulty that you underwent so thank you all professors for your excellent service in the particular two years of this pandemic period and also i thank uh, our uh, staff who is always behind the scene we don't see them um, on a regular basis but living on campus many of you have uh, interacted with them seen them and their dedicated services as also you can see this uh, evening this afternoon uh, what a excellent uh, way of conducting this uh, um, particular event and they are behind us and uh, thanks to all of them who are <coughs> working behind the screen to uh, bring this event a grand success and i also thank the it team who is relentlessly working uh, so led by swami dhyanagam anand ji and swami pa paramahamsanand ji and uh, our uh, vikram and others so without their uh, their uh, excellent services we could not host this uh, uh, event in a hybrid mode and all our uh, uh, campus uh, are participating uh, together with us uh, seamlessly because of their service so thanks to all of you and our logistics team led by uh, swami devatwanand ji and his team who are also working always behind the screen thanks to all of them and uh, our uh, special thanks on behalf of all students staff and professors to 
revered Swami Atmapriyanand Ji Maharaj, our uh, Pro Chancellor, who has always been the uh, <coughs> guide uh, to all of us. Thank you, Maharaj, for um, uh, your excellent guidance all the way uh, with us. And um, our special thanks to Dr. H. Sudarshan, who is the chief guest also, the recipient of the uh, DSC Honoris Causa. We have heard him, his excellent uh, life of service and his tr true inspiration, sir, that you are associated with us and today you are here. And we are honored that uh, we have given you this uh, DSC degree. And it's a great uh, privilege for us to be associated with you, rather you with us. And um, our uh, special thanks to our uh, uh, leader, Swami Sarvottamanandaji, who is uh, always uh, delivering excellent academic work uh, in, in the classes and to the students in guidance and, and uh, always with us, uh, guiding throughout the administration. Thank you, Maharaj. And our uh, special thanks to our registrar, uh, Swami Kirti Pradhanandaji, who is always uh, guiding, with us, guiding us uh, throughout various difficult times and uh, difficult assignments. So I've been working with him closely for the last five years, and it's a great experience. And um, uh, our uh, special thanks to the exam team. You know, without their uh, painstaking work, you would not have got the degree today and all the uh, diploma and awards and this uh, very seamless way of uh, these things uh, proceeding. Our exam team led by controller Swami Kalesh and uh, uh, deputy controller Swami Shastra Vidyanandaji and his team, excellent team. I have been seeing them working um, in a very efficient way every year during the convocation. Thank you, Maharaj. And last but not the least, uh, I would like to offer our humble pranam and thanks to revered Swami Suvirananandaji Maharaj, the, pro, the Chancellor of the University and the and honored, Honorable General Secretary of the Ramakrishna Morton Mission, who has been uh, with us uh, this afternoon. And his presence uh, is always a rejuvenating experience. It brings a lot of uh, good vibes and um, a lot of good things we hear. Uh, and it's a very special occasion that we get him. So thank you, Maharaj, for your time. And um, uh, last, uh, I would like to thank everybody who is associated with the university in whatever capacity and uh, your service and your uh, dedicated uh, involvement with this university uh, bearing the hallowed name of Swamiji. So all of you, uh, we, we really appreciate your association with us. Thank you very much. And um, uh, yes, of course, today's compare our uh, finance officer, uh, uh, Swami Atmeshwar Nandaji. Thank you, Maharaj. And uh, closing song will be sang by Swami Shiva Purnanandaji. So thanks in advance to him as well. He forgot to thank himself, so I thank Brahmachari Vinmay also. Thank you. The closing song by Shiva Purnanandaji Maharaj. This Shri Vivekananda Giti Stotram, this Stotra was composed by Swami Vivekananda's very close disciple, Sharachandra Chakravarti, and uh, this in Sanskrit. And uh, uh, it has become our uh, here tradition, especially in, the, in this university, in the hallowed name of Swami Vivekananda, every, on every Foundation Day and Convocation, we sing this Stotram. All of you can also join with me.
ಉತ್ತಮೇಶ್ವರ ಮೋಜ್ವಲ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಮೇಷ್ಟಮರ ನರವಂದ್ಯ ಮೂರ್ತ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಮೋಜ್ವಲ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಮೇಷ್ಟಮರ ನರವಂದ್ಯ ವೇದತನು ಮೋಜಿತ ಗರ್ಹಿತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಬಾಂಧಂ ವಂದೇ ವೇದತನು ಮೋಜಿತ ಗರ್ಹಿತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಬಾಂಧಂ ಮೂರ್ತ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಮೋಜ್ವಲ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಮೇಷ್ಟ ಮಮರ ನರವಂದ್ಯ ಕೋಟಿ ಭಾನುಕರ ದೀಪ್ತ ಸಿಂಹ ಮಾಹು ಕಾಟಿ ತಟ ಕೋಪಿ ಕೋಟಿ ಭಾನುಕರ ದೀಪ್ತ ಸಿಂಹ ಮಾಹು ಕಾಟಿ ತಟ ಕೋಪಿ ನಭೀರಭಿಹೋಂಕಾರ ನಾದಿತ ದಿಂಗ್ಮುಖ ಪ್ರಚಂಡ ತಾಂಡವ ಅಭೀರಭಿಹೋಂಕಾರ ನಾದಿತ ದಿಂಗ್ಮುಖ ಪ್ರಚಂಡ ತಾಂಡವ ನೃತ್ಯ ಮೂರ್ತ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಮೋಜ್ವಲ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಮೇಷ್ಟ ಮಮರ ನರ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಕೃಪಾ ಕಟಾಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಣ ಮಗದಲ ವಿದಲನ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಕಟಾಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಣ ಮಗದಲ ವಿದಲನ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಬಾಲಚಂದ್ರಧರ ಮಿಂದು ವಂದ್ಯಮಿಹ ನೌಮಿ ಗುರು ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಬಾಲಚಂದ್ರಧರ ಮಿಂದು ವಂದ್ಯಮಿಹ ನೌಮಿ ಗುರು ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಮೂರ್ತ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಮೋಜ್ವಲ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಮೇಷ್ಟ ಮಮರ ನರವಂದ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದತನು ಮೋಜಿತ ಗರ್ಹಿತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಬಾಂಧ ಮೂರ್ತ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಮೋಜ್ವಲ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಮೇಷ್ಟ ಮಮರ ನರವಂದ್ಯ ಏಷ್ಟ ಮಮರ ನರವಂದ್ಯ ಏಷ್ಟ ಮಮರ ನರವಂದ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರೆ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜೇ ಕೆ ಜೈ ಜೈ ಮಹಾ ಮಾಯ ಕೆ ಜೈ ಜೈ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕೆ ಜೈ ಜೈ ಗಂಗಾ ಮಾಯ ಕೆ ಜೈ
refreshments are there refreshments announcement are there thank you all we conclude this uh, convocation function our prayer to sri ramakrishna holy mother sarada devi and swami ji to guide every step of ours may the grace flow on us unhindered there is a refreshments and tea outside please participate and have that thank you all very much